After academics, you begin the confined water phase of scuba training. Confined water is a controlled environment such as a pool or a body of water with pool-like conditions. During confined water training, the instructor demonstrates the skill and then you practice it while standing in shallow water. Once comfortable, you progress to practicing underwater until you have mastered each skill. After completing the confined water training sessions, students move on to the open water phase, which includes a minimum of four open water training dives. By this point, you are expected to be proficient at demonstrating the skills learned in confined water. One of the major differences between confined and open water is the thermal protection worn. A wetsuit, hood, and gloves significantly increase your buoyancy. This requires that you wear additional weight or you will have difficulty descending. As you descend, the wetsuit material compresses, requiring that you add air to the BC to offset the additional weight. For best results, wear the minimal amount that allows you to make a comfortable descent. You learn mask removal and replacement in the warm water of a pool, but in open water this skill can be a real wake-up call. To avoid a sudden rush of cold water on your face, Break the seal only enough to allow the water to trickle in slowly. When completely flooded, remove the mask. The open water training environment presents more challenges and is less forgiving than confined water. But during training, you are always under the watchful eye of your instructor. This video is not intended to replace formal scuba instruction. For more information, contact your local dive center